Hello, I'm Stephanie. I'm Grace. Today we'll be exploring Tongyang seafood bibimbap and Nakji bibimbap, which are traditional yet exotic as they are drawn from the very depths of the sea. Last time we explored Jeonju bibimbap and Kangang bibimbap, which come from mountain regions. There were a lot of mountain vegetables involved. But today's bibimbap, Tongyang bibimbap, comes from Tongyang right here, which is famous for the abundance of seafood. We are sure you've never seen some of the seafood people eat there. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned to learn about more of these exotic seafood. Mm -hmm. First, don't forget to cook short grain rice. There's a how to make rice video. And soak milk in water until soft. And we'll be making kelp broth. This is tonnamul. This is one of the seaweeds Tongyang is known for. You can get it from a Korean market. Sometimes they would have dried version. But you don't have to use this, but it's, it's a really nice, interesting addition to this bibimbap. Clean this with coarse salt. Just give it a really good rub. Mmm. This is the smell of Tongyang. Your hometown. Yes, actually <laughs> my hometown. If you're using frozen seafoods, just soak in a cold salt water to thaw them. We have clams, we have shrimp, we have mussels. And if you have live clams with shells, so you want to put them in salt water and cover the container so it's dark inside and they'll think they're in the ocean and they'll open up and spit out sand. You do that overnight and the next day all the sand is gone and you're ready to then rinse and clean and it's ready to use. And we rinse our clams. And we're going to do the same for shrimp and mussels. This one's pre-cooked. So I don't have to saute for a long time. We're going to add a cup of the kelp broth we've made, kukanja, soy sauce for soup, anchovy fish sauce, garlic, chopped green onions. And just bring it to boil. Mm. This is going to be the seasoning for all the vegetables. Usually people chop clams first, but personally I like it as a whole so that you can enjoy the texture and you know, the whole clam. Just a pinch of salt, just a little bit of pepper. There's a sesame oil. Exactly the same with the zucchini. Time to season our gyo. Garlic and chopped green onions. Sesame oil. And just gently mix them. Mmm! Do you smell that? Enching our totnamul. Add some salt and boiling water. Add our totnamul. Whoa, look at that! You see how the color is changing to green? Just take it out and rinse quickly and drain into just bite-sized pieces, not too much. So tonnamul usually is actually seasoned with crushed tofu. Basically it's the same seasoning as miyeok, except we're adding tofu here. This is just so healthy, right? The mix of tofu and this healthy seaweed. Wow, this looks amazing. So we cook basic stuff for Tongyang bibimbap, but we also have soybean sprouts and kosari, firm break, and spinach that we've made earlier. So other than the basic stuff, you can add whatever namu you like. It could be spinach, it could be toraji, it could be uh, mung bean sprouts, it's up to you. The way you cook it is exactly the same as the regular namu, but you can add clam juice that we made before. So we're gonna set up, we have a nice brass bowl here. You can use other types of bowls, you can use stone bowls or whatever you like. You just uh, arrange the namul so that contrasting colors beside each other. Muscles in the middle. 
Sometimes they would add raw egg yolk in the middle. Gorgeous. And here's our beautiful toyang bibimbap. So we are getting our greens ready now. This is radish sprouts. Mm -hmm. But you could also use um, any other sprouts that you favor. Alfalfa sprouts or bean sprouts. No, that's a different sprout. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Green sprouts. Yeah, yeah, sort of like this. Look. Oh, looks good. Thoroughly mm -hmm. wash them. Mm -hmm. Looks so fresh. Red leaf lettuce. Mm -hmm. We wash them thoroughly. Pat dry them with paper towel. Perilla leaves. My favorite. Mm -hmm. Also wash them and pat dry. Have garlic chives. Mm -hmm. Puchu. Roasted seaweed. Mm -hmm. We just made our nakji bokum. You can find the recipe on our website. We also have a video on it. You could probably see it at the bottom of the screen right now. And mm. all you need to do is now serve this with a few other fresh vegetables and it's a delicious nakji bibimbap. All right, we're ready to finish our nakji bibimbap. You don't have to use sizzling torso, but we decided to use it. I'm actually going to add some kongnamul that we made earlier. Korean people have kongnamul with spicy food usually. Got this. Kim on top. Colorful green fish. Mm -hmm. Lots of green. Mm -hmm. Very healthy actually. And nakji is very good for you too. Sesame seeds. Wow, this is truly Jinsu Sangchan. With the seafood bibimbap, I'm gonna add gochujang. Mm -hmm. You can use regular gochujang or you can make seasoned gochujang. You can find mm. the recipe on our website. Mm. Oh, the seaweed. The so tomnamur, you mean? Yeah, tomnamur. These are so crunchy. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. A different flavor. We're used to eating a lot of bibimbap with mountain vegetables. It's mm -hmm. very sort of very soft, mm -hmm. but this has a lot of lots of nice chewy texture. You don't need um, gochujang for this one because it already has lots of spices in it. Mmm, it's really bibimbap. <laughs> nice and spicy, but it's supposed to be very spicy. Yeah. I love this. This is lovely. Mm. <laughs> I know your reaction already. I'm dreaming. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. Yes. She looks like she's been touched by an angel. Kongnamul, soybean sprouts go really well with nakji bokum too. Mm -hmm. Two totally different bibimbap, but they're both amazing. Earlier we talked about all kinds of seafood that Koreans eat, especially people in the southern region. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the seafoods are just bizarre. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll show you I'll show you the pictures. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, that's um Hesam. Yeah. Sea yeah. cucumber. Mm -hmm. Does look like cucumber, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't taste like cucumber. Uh, no. <laughs> Seafood. Oh, I remember. I had these in Chinese restaurant. Mm, they're probably. ridiculously expensive. Yeah, and they're supposed to be actually very good for you. I think that's why. Oh. Actually, hesam in Korean means uh, ginseng of the sea. So okay. this is mangae. Mm -hmm. It is sea squirt or sea pineapple. Mm. And the shell almost looks like coral, mm -hmm. right? It's actually a very pretty color. Mm -hmm. But inside, what, what you actually eat is not very pretty. It looks like this. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mm. It tastes good though. You usually have with spicy mm -hmm. and a sour uh, dip. Ooh. Next is abalone. Jeonbok. My favorite. Your One of, favorite? Yeah, yeah, it's very expensive. Yes. Also, the inside the shell is used to make a very uh, luxurious jewelry and also furniture. Oh, furniture. That's the right. outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tongyong is actually very famous for that. The furniture? Yeah. This one is 
called no. Kebul. Mm -hmm. Have you seen this? No. <laughs> That's disgusting looking. <laughs> In English, they're also known as penis fish. <laughs> and yeah. I don't think I, we I can explain it. why. No, we don't. Mm. You yeah. get the picture. Yes. I, I think I've tried once, but mm -hmm. it's it's very bizarre. Are they chewy as well? Yeah, very chewy. Yeah. Hora sea snails. Mm. Another very uh, precious mm. seafood in Korea. It's really delicious, actually, mm. especially when it's um, grilled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I never it's, tried that. It's amazing. You have to try when you go to Korea. Hora. Yeah, well. Seafood charade time. Charade! <laughs> so the rule is, you can't speak. Mm. You have to use your gesture, body gesture. Yeah. And you can't talk, but you can use sound effects. Mm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. You could answer either in English or in Korean or any other language that you know of. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. It has to be seafood or fish. Edible? Anything? Not edible. Any, okay, anything. There's so many. So you guys should try <laughs> as well. You look like an idiot. There's no flesh. Oh, okay. just, just to, like, I like the look. It's so such an amazing, they're very wonder. mysterious yeah. Yeah, creature. <laughs> Mermaid? Yes! I thought it has to be real. Are you going to do that for 30 seconds? <laughs> You're doing burpees right now. This is your workout. Woo! Whale. Anchovy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a sea creature. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
to time. <laughs> oh, oh, octopus. <laughs> See, you can't. I got it from there. <laughs> I, this game is actually good. <laughs> We're actually having fun. We thought we were going to do it to make, make a good episode, but it's actually <laughs> quite. We're yeah, actually enjoying ourselves. Is it squid? <laughs> on the grill, on the grill! I thought, I thought we were supposed to do it in the sea, but anyway, oh. I got it. Yeah, they're sea creatures, <laughs> but they're just about to be cooked. <laughs> Outside the water, you see the fin? Yeah, but it's supposed dun, to be dun, here! Dun. <laughs> Not here! <laughs> oh, like, I mean, above the water, you see it. I thought it was on the head, that's why I'm like, it's not a shark. <laughs> <laughs> uh. What? Um, <laughs> I think you got it. <laughs> you got it, but you got the name wrong. Sister. Who got it? Oh, that's right. Starfish. <laughs> Star. Hello, ESL. <laughs> that, that looks like a. Explore. <laughs> We're going to charade a mountain festival. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed our uh, seafood exploration in various ways today. <laughs> and you can find detailed recipes and tips with step by step photos on our website, crazykoreancooking.com. Also, you can buy. Why? <laughs> she still hasn't recovered from that. <laughs> that uh, dolphin, <laughs> dolphin workout. <laughs> Yes, yeah. <laughs> you can buy Korean ingredients also on our crazykoreancooking.com or crazykoreanshopping.com either yeah. way. And uh, in the future, we'll also release dolphin workout <laughs> video. <Yes. laughs> Insanity dolphin. <laughs> Until next time, don't forget to do something crazy! Crazy! crazy.